Why, hello there, and good morning. And I don't know if I feel safe sitting here, but let's just trust my load. <sighs> hello and welcome to Tuesday, to my Tuesday, I guess you could say. As I woke up this morning, I'm getting a lot of a lot of comments um i don't know which video it was i think it's two of them oh my god look at my hair sorry deal with it <laughs> i'm dealing with it um one or two of my videos and i even, haven't even really looked at it of which ones they are um because anytime one of my videos like suddenly out of nowhere gets like 300 um views or something you know like within a couple of days um it's always a shitty one <laughs> It's always like, why that one? Um, so with new viewers, and I, I know a, a ton of you um, have been on this journey with me for a very, very long time. Um, but with new viewers, I can 100% understand where they would, um, you know, come on and say, get a job, you're a piece of shit, da 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 I mean, nobody told me I was a piece of shit. Like, it wasn't that bad, but um, I want you to know... If you're one of the ones um, that just came here and you want to talk shit, that's okay. Keep watching. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing um, these videos. Because, yes, I am fucking homeless. Y'all. Y'all. Uh-huh. And also, I do have mental health issues. Which are a lot worse due to the homeless situation. Yes. And you probably have mental health issues issues too don't we all like what the fuck i just thought i saw something down there um i don't want to black people you know that talk shit um i think somebody did i did tell somebody you know i was being accused of being a drug addict and i shouldn't say being accused i was labeled as being a drug addict first of all nobody should be labeled whether you're a drug addict whether you're not a drug addict that's you and i don't care what anybody else says about it hello i just played ball um i have had loved ones that were addicts and in my opinion which i know is a fact but you know whatever your opinion is is yours i could give a shit um it's a disease you know but guess what <laughs> I'm not an addict. I'm not an addict. I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not. You know, I never have been. Um, I will tell you, I have been in um, recovery. I have been. Oh, my God. Look at just how dirty I am. Um, and I will do a story time um, sometime of that because um, that's a lot of what's gotten me through this so far. Uh, it has a lot to do with my positivity. Um regarding anything it has a lot to do with me talking about shifting the focus using my god above you know stuff like that so i'd really like to share that with you sometime i just don't feel like right now is the time that i want to share it but i definitely will because i'm fucking proud of it um but please don't assume okay do not assume at all um you know just coming here um it, the uh comment because there wasn't like a bunch. It's just, you know, like a couple people. Um, the comment about me getting a job. Um, I'm homeless because I don't have a job. Keep watching. <laughs> Quit. Keep, keep judging. You know, it really doesn't matter to me. Because these are the people that I want to watch the videos. Uh, for those of you that have been here, you know, since day 50 or whatever. When I started doing the videos. I was doing this 50 days before that. Um... You understand, you know, you understand this situation. Um, you understand that I am you. I am you. And uh, I've been a single parent for 17 years. Um, in the end, I was paying $1,700 a month rent by myself. So I am you. Um, it's just uh, the situations that occurred, which could happen to anybody, um, you know, that got me in this position. And in this position, I am staying temporarily. Um, and I'm not, I, I'm never, ever going to explain the whole entire story again. It, just keep watching, you know, keep watching because I talk about um, 
a lot of the things in the past, um, what I've done about them, you know, to get where I'm at, you know, I remind, um, I, w I would say my viewers, but it's my family, you know, um, you remember this, remember that, remember this. So you can learn a lot about, <laughs> about stuff and the journey and the system and discrimination and such. Um, yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do these videos. I mean, the very first reason, the very first time that I did a video, you know, regarding the whole homeless situation, um, I was desperate. Top of the hill, had to get my son's medication. They were treating it like it was no big deal. Um, they didn't understand kind of what happens, you know, if someone stops their medication right away and it's a three-day weekend, you know, and I was upset about that because, um no child or no one deserves to have their medication stopped for no reason figure it out you know because some of these medications have um you know really bad side effects when people get off of them and such so so i was desperate um i had been fighting by myself for a long time and then i came here why did i come to this channel you say why didn't i come to my instagram with tens of thousands of followers because it's vape fam. <laughs> vape fam is the best fam. Yeah. So I knew, um, you know, the people that followed me when I was doing my videos a couple years ago. They're good people. They're good people, um, you know, quitting the nasty S-M-O-K-I-N-G word, you know, and trying to do something uh, better for their lives by vaping. And even though now it's different, now they got all this fucking salt shit out there. 45 fucking milligram shit people are sucking all down all day like it's a fucking poofy doofy because it's better they think it's better oh because it's better than cigarettes well that isn't but that's another story right <laughs> but for those of you that are here um thank you for all your support thank you for your kindness i say it all the time if i couldn't sit here and and you know talk about my feelings and such i would probably be dead of a heart attack, you know, or a stroke. Um, there's been many times, you know, where um, it's been really, really, really hard. And uh, to have people, um, you know, say, keep going, you got this, is what people need in this world, you know? That's what they need. So uh, for just a couple of people, and I didn't block them, so... Um, please keep watching you know really keep watching because i am you i've also had uh, a lot of comments from other people that are um homeless that understand that are scared that don't know what to do i don't want to start crying you know but i want you to know i see you i see you and i get it And some days can be really fucking hard. But keep fucking pushing because... I mean, I'm, I am can't say, like, keep pushing because it's all going to work out. You just got to keep pushing because it's going to work out. But uh, I'm going on 107 days now, you know. I just kind of have to look at the bigger picture. The whole bigger picture of all of this. Look, and now there's people coming to the channel that have no idea... Um, you know, what homeless can look like. And looking at it is like, oh, homeless people are on drugs on the side of the road. So what if they are? <laughs> they deserve food. They deserve shelter, right? At least, you know, give them a tent. Make sure they have food. Here in fucking Arizona, if you feed the homeless, um, you can get a, a ticket. You can get arrested. And this is bullshit. So I'm not like going to be the speaker of the whole homeless situation. <clears throat> I just want people, um, it, it, this isn't just about being homeless as well. It's being homeless and, um, you know, uh, having mental illness. And, and I say that with pride because I'm saying it. And uh, a lot of people do not say it. And a lot of us are. Uh, millions of us are. Because life fucking sucks. And shit happens. And things become more expensive and people die and things break 
we don't know what to do and it can be overwhelming and guess what it's normal <laughs> it's normal to sometimes know nothing it's sometimes normal to know that you don't know yeah 100 percent. so so those uh, those of you out there who think i'm a drug addict i am not <laughs> But I will tell you my story of recovery sometime because you're going to fucking be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and um, those of you that are out there, you know, like I am, and winter is coming. There's a meme that says winter is coming and then Jon Snow, it says I'm ready. And I can't put up that meme because I'm not ready. Um... But if I'm going to keep pushing, then then please keep pushing with me. You know, we can do this. <clears throat> Just part of our last story, right? At the moment, ATM. And uh, thank you for the support. Thank you for the people um, that have uh, shouted out support. Um, and uh, my God's got this. I'm just waiting on him. I'm I'm doing the step work that I need to do. And knowing that my God's watching over me gives me strength to do that. Because it makes doesn't make me feel like I'm all alone. Even though I don't feel all alone that I'm able to share my feelings with you guys. And when I make plans, my God laughs. <laughs> he always has a different vision of what's going to happen. So... No matter what, I'm homeless today, but anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen in the future. Anything can happen today. I don't know. I just got to do my best to keep strong, to trust in my God, um, to hug my, my naughty dog when I need some love, um, to be careful with myself and gentle with myself and understand that I do have a reason to cry if I need to cry and understand and tell myself that when I do that, I don't have any reason to continue to cry because that's going to stop everything. So I'm doing my best peace and love. And I thank you guys all so much for all your support. You have no idea. You have no idea. And that's what breaks my heart for some of the people that are homeless out there that aren't able to do this. Please, if you can do this, do this, you know, I'm telling you, it, it's helping me. And if you got a phone and stuff, I mean, look, I'm doing this with my fucking ugly ass teeth. Like, eh, eh. Ah! Um, and if I can do that, you can too. I mean, you can at least try it and see if it helps. Um, don't look at it as you're talking to 50,000 people. Look at it as you're talking to your friend, you know. And um, I'm sure you'll get a lot of support too. Just keep pushing forward. Okay, have a great day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might I have so much to do today, believe it or not. Ugh. But I will sit and pray about it first. Um, I might do a video later. I might not. I don't know. Um, but because the video that I did, um, the audio did not work. It, unless you turned it up really, really loud, I did delete that video. And that has a lot of, uh, or I unlisted it that video has a lot of information on my plan so um i'm eventually gonna have to tell you um kind of like the big news of what my plan is um but i don't want to do it until i'm 100 percent sure and i don't want to do it when i'm feeling okay because right now i feel okay and if i start talking about it um I don't want to stop myself from the things that I need to do right now um, because it will cause depression. Obviously, um, this is, can be extremely hard and um, I know what's best for me and what's best for me right now is to deal with the things that I need to deal with this at this moment, you know, and when the time comes where I'm crying about it and thinking about it, maybe I will do the video again, um, but um, be warned, I will be crying. <laughs> and then after it happens, I'll be crying and crying and crying and then, uh, I'm going to somehow try to rise above it. It's just something that I'm going to have to do um, to move forward. Uh -huh. It's a fucking sacrifice, actually. See? Now I'm going to start crying thinking about it. Ugh. 
Okay, have a great day. Thank you so much for your love. Goodbye. Okay,